What is up guys, HF Masters here. Today we are doing a combination model. This is the Skull Grinder versus Mask Maker, along with Skull Scorpio, a, co a combination model. So first off, let's just take a look at the legs, because I think these are the most interesting things. Alright, so here are the legs, and first of all, let's just uh, take a look at this. These legs look fantastic. This is just kind of reminds me of the old days where they had the kind of like technic build and stuff. They kind of brought that back here. Uh, but, you know, I don't really like it that much. It's hard to move it. It's really tricky. There's like barely any posability you can get out of this. And that makes it kind of tricky for him to stand. So, some of you may like it. Personally, I do not like it. Another thing is his weapon. And as you can see, there's a rubber band and there's these two things. If you push them down, push them down. These open up. Get a better shot for you guys. And yeah, that's really it. Besides, of course the gear function and the gear function only works for this arm due to this weapon it's just way too big you can't even like you can you can get like a pose like up in the air but it will fall it will fall down this weapon is so big it can't even like fit in frame with the camera i'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit more now that's far as the camera will zoom out so i gotta move him a bit back nope i can't it's just that big and of course just like in the other combination model has like something like this on the back and they go down and you can get another look personally I like it up but if you guys like it down then uh, if you want to build this just keep it down the only kind of like problems though with this overall it's just really good. I like a lot of it. The weapon's great. The legs are great. The back is great. The, the gear function works well. But the color scheme, it uh, kind of looks awkward. As you can see, there's uh, a lot of these this uh, blue. This stands out so much. Like, the gold, uh, you can argue that it, it's just kind of being fit in with the mask creation. That trans blue, though, it sticks out so much. And there's not enough of it, and it's only in the topper areas, and I, I, I really don't like that. But LEGO was just working with the parts that they had in the sets, and overall, this is fantastic. The weapon is amazing. The legs, you know, those are great. They, Even though, you know, I there's not much posability you can have with the legs, I think that they are still really good. The only complaint I really have is this weapon I wish they could have done something a little bit better but I'm not sure what they could have done better with the parts they had available but yeah that is pretty much it for this combination model for any of you mockers out there I would definitely suggest you build this this is kind of an intro to kind of making a titan and I have a feeling that either next wave or maybe the summer wave for 2016 we will be getting a Titan, and it's going to compare to, you know, Witch Doctor from Hero Factory. So yeah, that is basically it for this combination model uh, review. Until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.